What up, everybody? Back in here for one more video. All right, this one is, of course, with my man, uh, Pastor G. Craig Lewis. This short one's a short clip, and it's about the uh, Marvel's uh, Doctor Strange movie. Uh, and uh, he talks about how people are a bit affected by the witchcraft and the imagery that goes on within the movie. Uh, and the title of this message is, uh, I think it's about seven minutes long. The title of it is The Evil Intent of Marvel's Doctor Strange. Um, so, uh, I used to be a fan of Marvel, but uh, as, as looking at a lot of uh, those movies, a lot of imagery and of uh, witchcraft imagery and, and symbolisms are in those movies, man. And so that what that's one of the things that really kind of turned me away from uh, watching a lot of Marvel movies uh, anymore and watching movies, um, period. Um, I, I, I think that as believers, we are to definitely be careful about what we listen to and what we hear because what we listen to and what we hear can get on the inside of us and affect us spiritually. Um, the Bible does tells us, take heed to what you hear and how you hear. So without further ado, I'm going to let you listen to uh, Pastor Lewis. Like about, it's about a seven minute clip. And um, I hope you enjoy. Watch this. You know, I've had so many people um, contact me about this Doctor Strange movie. Uh, I've kind of dealt with a little bit in our um, at our church here, um, but let me just kind of share something about it uh, with you that I feel uh, needs to be known. First off, um, the enemy's plan is to desensitize us to the satanic realm, and he does this by making us watch it and enjoy it and think it's cool and all of these kinds of things. And he also does it over time by luring us into plots and uh, stories and, you know, the lives of characters in movies. And the whole Marvel push has been, the MCU has always been to lead people into uh, the dark side um, that the enemy um, has established through Stan Lee and these guys. Now, let me tell you a little background information about me. When I traveled and did the truth behind hip hop for over 20 years, I would encounter little young kids, 12, 13 years old sometimes, and they would come to the altar for prayer and they would manifest demons. And I always thought it was just disheartening to see little kids possessed by demons. But uh, I found out, you know, that most of the time it wasn't the music that these kids were possessed by. It was comic books. And the reason why these comics were able to do this was these kids who feel self-hatred or they feel like they're not welcomed or they were accidents, they shouldn't be here. Their parents aren't properly parenting them or their parents aren't paying attention to what they're into. And the devil uses comic books to create alternate uh, fantasy realms that they can delve into and find themselves or find a spirit and usually it's a demon attached to it that will come inside of them to make them you know um have superpowers make them think they can have superpowers excuse me um or make them think that they can have the life of a spider-man or a superman or someone else uh one of these uh demigods and so they get into it and the more they get into it the more they're able to escape their true reality Y'all, this is where all of this is going. <laughs> That's what the metaverse is. It's to escape this reality for another reality. That's why the MCU is into this multiverse hold um, ideology. It is to create alternate realms, alternate universes. They're just preparing our world. They're preparing us all for the metaverse, which is to leave this reality. Why do they want to leave this reality? Because there is responsibility in this reality. And that responsibility is simple. It's for us to either choose God's way or choose the enemy's way. We either choose God's way and live according to God's plan for us and we'll have success in this life or we choose the enemy's plan and we may have something that looks like success, but ultimately it will end in death and destruction. So the devil feels, you know, he could create a multiverse where there are alternate you know uh, existences that we can tap into and ultimately leave this one where we are responsible 
for our actions and we'll be penalized if we choose the wrong action. And that's what the metaverse is all about. So the guy who wants to be transgendered or the, the, the girl who wants to be a man or, you know, whatever people want to be, the guy that wants to be a dog or a cat or whatever, they're preparing you right now by just saying, I identify. I identify, but ultimately it's going to lead to putting on the glasses, sitting in a room and becoming that. So you don't, you don't just identify as that. That is your avatar. That's who you are. Um, you know, and there are several movies that are out that show you kind of this progression, but Doctor Strange is a little different. It shows you the multiverse and, you know, uh, I think the worst part of it is, is showing you how to use de demonic powers or demonic powers are fighting demons. So the devil is, you know, the Bible tells us that that's impossible. A house divided against itself can't stand. So if you see demons fighting demons, you see dark magic and the scarlet witch's magic and uh, the demon inside of Doctor Strange and that magic fighting what they consider bad guys. They're all bad guys. And so they're all on the same inside so that, that's bad enough but another thing that they did in this movie that was really sneaky and something that christians need to really be aware of and i haven't seen the movie i've just gotten information from people uh about it but i did find out that they are actually using spells from the book of the dead oh wow um and using illuminati spells and they use light flashes frequency light to um open you up when there is a barrage of light flashes and different graphics that they can show you that will actually open your mind up uh to put these spells inside of you uh they do this periodically in this movie you're not aware of it of course it's subconscious you know it's done on the subconscious level but that is how they hypnotize people with lights you know you can flash lights at a certain pattern and you know some uh, sometimes you see movies that have this warning saying that hey these light flashes can uh, or these graphics can trigger epileptic seizures and different things why because our minds are sensitive to light and so if they're at certain patterns and they're flashed you know with certain colors or certain frequencies it can actually hypnotize you or be like hypnosis or open you up and cause you to lose consciousness briefly. Now, all a demon needs is just a brief millisecond for you to lose consciousness, for your guardian to be disabled, and they put a demon inside of you or a spell can uh, come inside of you. So that's what they're doing in this movie. They're doing it a lot. And I'm telling you, a lot of people are leaving this movie and contacting me. And they're like, dude, I feel this, something's wrong, whatever. And I tell them, I say, hey, man, you need to go pray. You need to cast this stuff out. You need to deal with this stuff because this is another level of demonic uh, work in the spirit realm that they're doing with this Dr. Strange. So be careful, people. Beware. I'm going to bring more information on this in some upcoming uh, DVDs that we're working on. But I'm telling you, this whole multiverse, metaverse, all of these different things that are happening are a part of the enemy's end time plan against God's people.